in the last mm, five years, uh, we have now made, so this is mostly in mouse models, but we do have some data in human. We've made mouse models where due to a transgene, so a totally artificial gene that we insert into the genome of the mouse, and we make it possible to selectively kill only senescent cells in that animal. It's the first time this was ever done. And using that mouse model, we were able to show that it was very important for, senescence was very important for suppressing cancer, and we were also able to show that it was very important for wound healing. Now, the beauty of science is none of us work alone. We have collaborators all over the world, and we've sent them our mice, and those collaborators are working on these diseases. So everything from Parkinson's disease, which was a collaboration here at the Buck with Julie Anderson's lab, um, to cancer metastasis and, and uh, the side effects of chemotherapy and antiretroviral therapies, all of these are driven, all of these drive cells into senescence. And with the mouse model, we're able to the first time to show that senescence is causal. And so this has revolutionized the field. When I tell you that there are bad things that senescence does, this is the list. So everything in blue is published, and everything in black is still ongoing, but I've seen most of the data, and it's pretty impressive. So for the first time, we now have a basic cellular process that was evolved for the good purpose of preventing cancer and now we're showing that it's driving lots of age-related diseases, including, very ironically, late-life cancer.